All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So here doing a little video on Final Cut Pro and a few things I've learned over the past couple weeks about zebras and being broadcast safe. So before we head over to Final Cut Pro 10, uh, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button or like or dislike button, you know, leave a comment, positive or negative, because they all help me in the long run. So we'll head over to Final Cut Pro and thank you everybody for your support. I appreciate it, thanks. Welcome back to Final Cut Pro, and I just want to show you a quick shot here that I did a, just threw a LUT on and did some quick grading real quick. And if you can scroll through it, so it's just some flowers, you know, and just a nice shot using the Canon EOS R. But say you want to broadcast this and you want to make sure you're not overexposed. You want to check your exposure brace, basically. Now, of course, you can go up to your waveforms here and check that you're not over 100 IRE or below zero but uh you can also use zebras in Final Cut Pro just like you can in your camera to check the exposure and see if you're overexposed so if you go over here to view and range check instead of off put it to all you can be see zebras in your picture and let me show you let me go to the color board here and raise the exposure all the way up now you can start seeing zebra lines where we're overexposed and we are not suitable for broadcast. So I just thought that was a neat thing in Final Cut Pro that I never knew about or really used um, up until a couple weeks ago where I found out about it and I started using it all the time to make sure my highlights weren't blowing out. So a nice little thing in Final Cut Pro that if you never used it, it's a nice little thing to use. So you can check your waveform at the same time and the zebras to make sure that you are broadcast safe or to make sure that you're not overexposing your image if you just want a good looking image. So, you know, we're gonna play around with the midtones here and the highlights and the shadows. And, and then you can see we're going below zero and we're showing we're crushing the blacks. So we definitely don't want to do that. So let me come up a little bit. And I still see a few zebras in here sparkling around. So we're probably crushing the blacks a little bit. There we go. Now we're not crushing them. So the exposure works for shadows and for highlights. So I really like these zebras a lot. I think it's a neat little trick. Um, the other thing you can do is go over here to your effects and go to broadcast safe and drag and drop this or double click it onto your clip. So we'll go ahead and close close that up. We'll go over here to our clip and now you see broadcast safe. If you see zebras but you think you're exposed or overexposed, so let's go ahead and crank this up a little bit and crank this down. And if you can see, we're not going over a hundred or below zero because we threw on that broadcast safe. So that's another thing you can use, but as you can see, it definitely messes things up. So this is obviously not exposed correctly, but that broadcast safe is, is allowing us not to go, not to stay between zero and 100 IRE basically. So we're not going below zero or above a hundred but we can go back over here and turn it back off. Whoops, whoa, and our zebras come back. So we can fix this. We'll bring up the shadows. Uh, still see a couple zebras. We'll bring down our highlights to below 100, and there we go. And if you wanna be absolutely sure before you send this out, click on Broadcast Safe, and you'll never go above 100 or below a zero and you will be good to go and safe. So I thought that was a nice, neat little trick that I found out in Final Cut Pro 10. So give it a shot. It's real simple and easy to use. Just go to view, range check, rec 709 for the color space and hit all, and that'll show you your zebras. So between the zebras and the broadcast safe effect that you can add onto your clip, you should never be, you should never be crushing the shadows or overexposing the highlights. So I hope this little tutorial helped you out. Have a great day or night, everybody, and happy shooting. Thank you.